Why do we investigate at night? Let's find out right now on What the Fed. Hey weirdos, I'm Grant. So many people ask me the question, why do you always investigate at night? Well, because it's spookier that way. Duh. Actually, I don't. And you don't have to. Whenever possible, you should always try to investigate when the activity is reported to happen. Be it morning, afternoon, evening, nighttime. A key factor, though, is that you have to investigate when you actually have time to investigate. Paranormal investigation is a hobby for almost all of us. And if you work in a 9 to 5, the only free time you really have is on the weekend and at night. In fact, the very first episode of Ghost Hunters was actually filmed during the day because that was when a majority of the activity was reported. But it looked like it was filmed at night because we had the shades drawn to make it dark. Dark, you say? So the real question we should be asking is, why do you always investigate in the dark? Well, again, I don't always investigate in the dark. In fact, I just did a full light daytime investigation the other day. The reason we investigated in the dark so much on Ghost Hunters was to aid our infrared or IR cameras. You see, the visual anomalies investigators are most often looking for are either dark shadows or they emit a very faint light. The best way to capture both is to eliminate as much light as possible and use IR cameras. This will allow you to see those shadows in the dark and any faint light you may capture will appear much brighter. So if you aren't using infrared cameras, then you can investigate in any lighting environment you so choose. Even if you are investigating with infrared cameras, you can still investigate in whatever lighting environment you so choose. But darkness is usually the best. Now IR cameras aside, investigating in low light conditions may make it easier to see an apparition. Light a match on a sunny day, and you'll barely see it. Light a match in a dimly lit room, and you'll see it much more easily. Also, many people feel that when you're free from visual distraction, it makes it easier to hear a disembodied voice, or to feel a faint touch, or feel a change in air pressure, essentially making it easier for someone to focus on their other senses. But be careful here. The lower the light, the more easily your mind can play tricks on you. For example, when looking down a long, dark hallway at night, your mind will eventually trick you into seeing dark shadows peeking out from the doorways or flat out darting back and forth. A trick that is easily countered by using a laser ray. So understand how low light can trick you and find solutions to overcome it. Dark or light, use the lighting environment that best suits your investigation style, the equipment you're using, and the timing of the activity you're investigating. Do you find it easier to investigate in the light or the dark? Do you have special techniques that other people could take advantage of? Leave a comment down below and let me know. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Thanks for stopping by, guys. Stay weird.